Hello, welcome to this tutorial where you will learn how to configure a site-to-site -site VPN using the Barracuda VX Next Generation Firewall. Virtual Private Networks is one of the most widely used technology solutions for establishing secure communications and privately extending a company's local area network. It also means the possibility of further deploying WAN infrastructure to reduce costs. A VPN not only uses security protocols such as PPTP and IPsec, but also powerful encryption algorithms. Remote Access VPN is the most commonly used model today. But what do you do when two departments of a company want to establish secure connections between each other using the VPN server at headquarters? This model of virtual private network is known as VPN Site-to-Site. Site-to-Site works by establishing a VPN tunnel with the remote locations, that is, the servers connect to the internet using the services of their local provider through broadband connections. This represents considerable cost savings by eliminating costly traditional point-to-point -point links, which are made through cable connections between nodes. Here's how to configure a site-to-site -site VPN using a Barracuda VX Next Generation Firewall. Let's start. First, open ng admin to connect to the firewall. Then we open the session, the user, root and password. Once connected, we will see the main screen that gives us general information of the state of the firewall. Select the configuration tab. Then we go to virtual servers where we will put the name of our device. In our case, we will put S1. We then select assigned services, then VPN, and finally site to site. In that same box, we double click site to site with which we will see a window like the following. Then we click on the lock button in the main window to start configuring and then on the IPsec IKE V1 tunnels tab which is the type of VPN we will configure. In the blank space, we right click and we will get a dialog where we select new IPsec IKE V1 tunnel. The following window will appear. Once this is done, we will fill in the fields. In the name field, we give a name to our VPN that could be VPN test. In the first phase, which corresponds to the establishment of the VPN where the policies for the establishment of a secure channel are negotiated, we will specify the encryption algorithm, in this case AES, the hash method to guarantee the integrity of the message will be SHA, and the Diffie-Hellman algorithm to dynamically create key exchange sessions, we will use group 2. The lifetime of the security associations we will keep in the default value of 28,800 seconds. We will do the same with the minimum lifetime and maximum lifetime. In the second phase, we also defined the AES encryption algorithm, the SHA hash method, and the Diffie-Hellman group 2, with the default lifetime for 3,600 security associations, values of minimum lifetime and maximum lifetime. We will enable perfect forward secrecy to increase security by ensuring that key sessions are independent of those already used. Local IKE Gateway is the IP of the local interface from where we will start our VPN. We will put 10.0.10.250. In network addresses below, we will put the network of devices that are going to traffic through the VPN. As an example, the network 172.16.0.0/24. Then we must hit the add button. Remote IKE gateway is the IP address of the remote device that could be another Barracuda NG firewall. We will use 10.0 0.12.23. In network address, we will put the network of remote devices that are going to traffic through the VPN and with which our local devices will communicate. As an example, 
the network 10.0.81.0/24. Then we must give the add button. Assuming our firewall is the default gateway of our network infrastructure, we will not have to propagate this route. Example, it is not necessary to dial advertise routes. The window would then look like this. Then mark the identity side of the local side where shared secret should be defined on the remote side of the peer identification. Write the shared secret that is similar to a password to choose and must be shared between administrators of both sides. In order for the VPN to be established, this shared secret must be the same on both devices, as well as the network's defined network address must correspond in our device in the remote. We will use shared secret NU3STR4SH at REDSECCR377, which is a relatively safe key. After this is done, click OK and then in the main window, send changes. Now select the activation pending option, then confirm by clicking on activate in the dialog box that shows. This way we already have our VPN site to site configured and activated. Always remember that GlobeNet International works so that your business can take successful steps in the world of cyber communications. If this is useful for you, please give us a like or leave a comment. Until next time.